Continuing this series on basic fingerless gloves for men, today we'll knit this one, a mid-gauge glove. This glove is also the one that has a somewhat different thumb treatment than the others. It's quicker and flatter than the actual thumb pieces. I'll explain how to use either treatment because they're interchangeable on every size and gauge of gloves. The gauge, sizing, yarn information, and a basic overview of the design was covered in this first movie, so you may want to review that because in this movie, we're just going to knit. Cast on by e-wrapping the number of needles shown for the correct size. At the main stitch size minus two whole numbers on the dial, knit 32 rows. Then lift the e-wraps and hang them on the working needles to complete the hem. You may roll them up with your fingertips or lift them with a tool. And you may hang on every needle or every other needle. It doesn't make a great deal of difference. Turn up the stitch dial to the main stitch size and knit 12 plain rows. Then hang a yarn marker on each side of the work. Resume knitting. Knit the number of rows shown here. And now if you want to knit an actual thumb piece, add a second set of yarn markers and continue knitting. But if you want to use the flat, smooth thumb finish, we're now going to create it. Ladder down first, column number three from one edge to the yarn marker and latch it up. But skip the first rung, put the tool behind it, grab the second rung, Pull through, creating a new stitch, and repeat that, treating every single pair of rungs in the same manner. Also do that on column number five from the edge. That's needle five from the edge. And then repeat the whole operation on needles three and five from the right. So if you create that tucked rib edge, you're done with the thumb. If you put in yarn markers, you'll come back and add a thumb piece later. But now let's knit from the top of the thumb to the bottom of the fingertip hen, 20 rows. Stop here and using a similar weight of yarn that really doesn't quite match the main yarn, e-wrap the needles. You may e-wrap every single needle or every other needle, which is what I'm doing for the demo. Reduce the stitch size to whole numbers and knit 24 rows for the second hem. I will show you in the bulky movie, but I will tell you here, any hem that you would like to change to ribbing and are willing to hand manipulate, you may do. All you need to do is knit half of the row count given for the hem and then stop and hand manipulate the ribbing. Here I've completed the fingertip hem rows and am now lifting the e-wraps that we recently made in the different yarn onto the working needles. I'm showing you several ways to handle them. And you can see why we chose an alternate color of yarn. Makes it very easy to find these and lift them into place. And even though I used here a starker contrast than I normally would, it doesn't show on the finished garment. Bind off, and that will both finish the final hem and accomplish a bind off. Whichever thumb you knitted, sew the areas marked with the white dots together now. If you already created the thumb finish, also sew these areas together. The hems should be pulled lengthwise to set the stitches before you do the sewing, and you should always sew the two layers of hems separately. To knit on a true thumb piece, open out the fabric so that the seam that was already knitted is on the center needle, Use the number of needles shown below. Arrange the fabric so that the purl side is in view. And align the top set of yarn markers that mark the thumb position. One with the leftmost needle and one with the rightmost needle. Once the stitches are hung, the markers have done their job and you can pull them out. Now knit 16 thumb rows, starting at main stitch size, gradually decreasing stitch size so that by rows six to eight, we are two whole stitch sizes smaller than the main stitch size, then begin gradually increasing so that by row 16, we're back to the main stitch size. 
lift and hang the same area that we hung to begin the hem, and again, hanging on every other needle is adequate, and bind off, closing the hem and finishing the fabric at the same time. If you knitted a thumb piece, this area won't yet be sewn together, and now is the time to do so. This pattern exists in three gauges and four sizes. Today we knitted the mid-gauge version on the left. The bulky and standard versions are two separate movies. And the written version of the pattern in all of its sizes and gauges is in the Warm Hands Workbook. And there's a link in the program notes to the workbook.